Toastmasters International has an update to the brand manual. And one of the coolest updates to the branding guidelines is the gradients. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use this gradients effectively in Canva. So let's get started. The new brand guidelines supports two type of gradients. The two-tone gradient, as you can see from the top, where we have a dark color on one side and the light color on the other side. It could be from top to bottom or from bottom to top, left to right and so forth. And then we have the three-tone gradients where we have dark colors on either side and the light color in the middle. Let me start by creating a new design in Canva. I'll click on create design. I want to create a Facebook post. So let me search for Facebook. Select this dimensions for a Facebook post and click to add a gradient to our design. We go to elements, select graphics and gradients. Canva comes with a wide range of gradients, but most of these gradients are of fixed colors. If I select, for example, this gradient, I'm unable to change the color of this gradient, which means I can't use it in a Toastmaster design. Let me remove that. There are a few gradients that allow us to change the color of the gradient. For example, this one, which is a square gradient. If I select this gradient, we can see that it allows us to change the two colors of the gradient, which means this is a perfect gradient to be used for the two tone gradients of Toastmasters. Let's say I want to make this gradient as a maroon gradient. If I go to the brand manual, we can see that the two colors are 3B0104 for the darker color and 781327 for the lighter color. To change the color of this gradient, select the first color, type the color code 3B0104, click OK. To change the second color, click here, type the second code which is 781327 and we have a gradient. Move it to the corner, resize it. Because it's a square gradient, I'll have to increase the size to fill up the entire frame. And our gradient is done. To ensure that the gradient stays in one place as you complete your design, click on the gradient and click lock. This ensures that the gradient doesn't move around while you are placing other objects on this design. If you want to remove the gradient, first click unlock. Now we can move the gradient around, change its position, or if you don't want the gradient, click on the delete key to remove it from the design. If you want to change the orientation of the colors, for example, instead of from left to right, you want it from top to bottom, position the mouse on this handle and rotate the object in whichever direction you want. For example, from top to bottom or from right to left or from bottom to top. Pretty cool. But what about this three-tone gradient? How do we get that in Canva? There is one element in Canva called the tricolor gradient. Let's see what happens when I use this gradient in my design. As we can see, it allows us to change the three colors of this gradient. Let me try to replicate this gradient where we have 004165 on either side of the gradient and 006094 in the middle. Let me go to Canva, select the first color, change to 004165 click this select the third color also it has to be the same one and for the middle color let me type 006094 take it to the corner resize it the only problem that i have found with this gradient is this almost white line that appears in the middle of your design I'm not sure whether you will find it acceptable, but I find it very distracting. So what's my solution? I've created a set of gradient image files and you can download all of these images from the link in the video description. For example, when I'm creating a design for A4, I can use this gradient file, which is available as a PNG file. Let me show you how to do that. 
When I'm creating a design for Instagram post, I have a matching image file with the same dimensions, which is 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels. All I have to do is click on upload. Next, click on upload media from the device. Navigate to the folder that has the image files. Select the right image, in this case, the Instagram Loyal Blue PNG. Click open and drag and drop it into your design. Now you have a perfect gradient of three tones of blue. Click on the lock button to make sure that your gradient stays in place while you complete the rest of your design. That's a quick look at how you can implement gradients in your Canva designs for creating Toastmaster brand compliant content. Have fun!